<laughs> I may be a little long-winded on this one, so uh, you can skip it if you like. It's personal. The single life versus husband and wife. Hmm, let's see how that thought process affects me. You see, I've been married before, and by now my readers know how the demise of that relationship devastated me to the core. But in that same pain, helped me to better see past the rain and realize how I lived a life that tended to be vain and allowed for my mistakes to never be the same. But now I am at a crossroads and help us what I seek to choose which way to go at this fork in the road. Now single, I have been. And together with another is the prize I want to win. And I ask, is this a futile task? Has this day and age put a burden upon such a blessing that I am doomed to club hop and do the panties undressing? I know I'm very good at the latter, but my heart sees how fleeting and superficial that is to even matter. There is a part of me that sees the future ever so bright, where I spend my last breath with one every single night. But there is also a small part of me that sees the joy in no obligation and free frolicking from the states to overseas. And that part is ever so small that I'm afraid into denial I'll fall. I spent the better part of a decade dolo. No matter the advances, I just wanted to be solo. And some gems have passed through this boy's door. But there was always something missing as to why I didn't want more. In retrospect, I probably should have had more respect. Because karma is now making me feel love's unwavering neglect. So I ask again. Should I be committed? Or just be a fly-by-night lover and friend? Lately, I sit alone and wonder what is meant for me. What grand design God has planned for my destiny. For one such as I, to feel heartbreak is insane. But then again... Who the fuck am I to not feel such pain? I mean, I have given others heart-shattering times because of my lack of knowledge and player-player crimes. From mediocre playthings to perfected dimes, I have given out more hurt than I could ever express in my poetic rhymes. And to be honest, the question is kind of loaded because I only ask at the cusp of looking my heart exploded. Fragments that lead me to question why before I go over the edge with a regret and a sigh. The why is dedicated to how do I persevere? And look past my fears. Single is just not what I want to be anymore. To be alone with my thoughts and allow my imagination to soar. Being a poet, thinker, hell, and only child has its downfalls. And that's being alone with your thoughts can take a toll when that time calls. You see, that time alone can reflect thoughts that have no outside avenue. So no second opinion looms in the decisions that pull us through. Those trying times that cause your brain to dwell in life's often daunting crimes meaning actions that steal you away from another's prideful chimes, the sounds they make when they allow a voice, when you think to yourself and relinquish their choice, to help you through these nuances, not able to convey the everyday struggle consequences. You dive ever so deep into self-loathing and depression helm leaps that it invades your everyday sleep. What's a man to do when he's given it his all? What's a man to do when for love he's answered the call? What's a man to do when he sees the inevitable fall? What's a man to do when no matter how tall he stands, he is stalled at heartache's wall, looking up at it like it's Berlin. It seems too high to ever cross over and win. But even that obstacle was eventually knocked down, brick by brick, ounce by ounce, pound by pound. So I, as I stand in the fork choosing which roads I must choose, one I live free, the other I fight not to lose, but are both a lie if for their love I have to vie? I say both because I don't want either. Single life versus swallowing love's poisonous ether. I just want to be happy. White picket fence, dog, children, everything on TV that tends to be sappy. One that will weather through my mistakes as I make them, correct them, and not for granted take. Life to me is about trial and error. And I need one to look deep inside my abandonment issue terror. To see that maybe, just maybe, I subconsciously push the envelope. To see if you'll abandon the situation or help me to better cope. To see that my past is not so easily washed out with water and soap, but would eventually come clean and be worthy of a wedding reception or a midnight elope. It's my daily wonder. If I will or have one that can see past my often blunders, that I am not who I used to be, but maybe, just maybe, take the time to see the real me. At all. You know what I mean? That's all. It's just not much. It's not much. 